Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas decor shop with me and haul. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got in this haul. I'm so ready for the holiday season, so if you want to see what I got and what these stores have to offer, then just stay tuned. So I started out my Christmas decor shopping spree at Hobby Lobby. Um, that is our first stop. And then we continued on to um, Home Goods, which always has some goodies. And I actually snuck into Bath and Body Works as well, which I know isn't home decor, but I feel like it goes with like the home feel. So I did include a little bit of a Bath and Body haul in this video as well. Um, I'm not gonna be popping in anymore in this video. I'm just gonna kind of let you guys see what I um, want was seeing at these stores and then at the very end I will share with you what I got. potatoes and Christmas potpourri in here. All right, you guys, so we just got back to the house and I'm gonna go over my loot with you just really quick. I have family here, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I snagged from Bath and Body Works, Home Goods, and Hobby Lobby. Of course, the top three essential stops when you're doing any kind of holiday decor shopping or prepping for guests in your home. Um, okay, let's get right into it. So, 
Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna leave for last because I have a cute little setup here for you guys so I can kind of show you what I got. It was the $2.50 um, wallflower deal today and then I had a $10 off and an additional like free item coupon. So it was a really good day at Bath and Body Works. Um, but I'm gonna start with home goods because it was my smallest um, loot of stuff. Okay, so as you can see in the background here, this is all of my Christmas stuff. I just pulled it all out and I flocked my tree this year. If you guys haven't seen my flocked tree video, I'll leave a link up here for you guys. Um, I am doing a little bit different of a theme. I always mix it up just a tish, but this year, um, because it's flocked, I feel like I need to do a little bit different of a feel to it because I feel that the silver and gold will get more washed out. So um, I got some deeper tones um, just to kind of, um, I don't know, make it pop a little bit more. But anyway, so at Home Goods, I snatched up this guy. So cute. Um, he was $19.99. I love his little fur boots and the fur accents on him. And his jacket is super adorable as well. Um, and his little lantern. This is the first Santa that I bought. Um, like most of the Santas, I, I don't know. I've never found one that I was 100% in love with, but this one was perfect for my house and my theme, so I'm really excited to get him up on the shelf. Um, okay, so I snatched this up for $12.99. I'm always a sucker for, I like, uh, I don't know how to explain my theme. It's like a rustic chic. I really like driftwood colors, but with some glam, like some sparkle to it. Um, Definitely what the theme of my house is, but I snagged this for $12.99. It was a really good deal. I don't know why I keep saying snagged. It's kind of an awful word, but I got this for $12.99 at Home Goods. Um, really cute. It's like a champagne silvery. It's sparkly. Okay. It's really cute though. Um, and then the last thing that I snagged from Home Goods. Hard feel on everything right now. Okay, so the last thing that I got from Home Goods was this blanket. I think that this was $19.99. This is the softest blanket ever. Um, my sister actually found this when we were in the store and snuggled Kaya up in it, and I thought it was just, it was cute. It's perfect. Um, the only like red things that I have in my house um, and like plaid things that I have in the house for Christmas are my blankets. Um, I feel like I keep all of my other Christmas decor pretty um, plain. I'm really boring. I think I'm really boring when it comes to my Christmas decor because I don't have like super bright fun colors. But my blankets I do. So um, this is super soft and I will totally be snuggling in this tonight in my new Christmas cactus socks. Where are those by the way? Oh yeah. Look at this pair of socks that my mom got me. These so cute. Cactuses with ornaments on them. So that is the plan for tonight. Um, now jumping into my Hobby Lobby haul, um, I have, I don't know, I saw these. These were $7.99. Of course, everything at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. Oh my gosh, my hair is looking insane. You know, I did curl my hair this morning, but I have been running errands since 9.30 this morning, so. Mm, looking good. So these shatterproof ornaments, um, I think they're actually metal, which like, I don't know why they have to put shatterproof on here if they're metal, but that's okay. I got these metal snowflakes. Um, it's like a brown color. Um, and then I also got a couple more of the um, cotton picks because I like to have these in the tree during Christmas time and then when I transition from Christmas to winter, I'll take these picks out and then I will use them around the house. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to decorate with cotton picks. So, just a little tip for you guys. Um, now, when I was deciding what to do for decorating the tree this year, I knew that I wanted to do less ornaments, more picks, and more um, focus more so like on the ribbon and the accents than, than the ornaments. So I don't know if that's coming across the way that I want it to. Um, I will be uploading a um, Christmas decorate with me here in the next couple of days for you guys um, as I have the energy to put the rest of my Christmas decor up. But um, I got these, so this was like a pick but a Christmas ornament all in one. Um, these are super sparkly. 
I'm kind of going with like a champagne color. Um, and a lot of the Christmas ornaments I already have are champagne, gold, silver, um, and brown. So I think that it's going to go really nicely with what I already have. Um, and then this kind of gives me the ability to to kind of switch out the theme of my Christmas tree So like doing every other year doing all silver and gold maybe doing more of a rustic chic um, I don't know. I just like to have options Every year when I'm like going through my decorations, but I like them to all kind of blend together at the same time So these great option um, I do already have several of these. Um, I don't think I got them from Hobby Lobby though I think I snaked snake there I go again um, I think I got them from home goods last year um, and they were like $5.99 a piece well I got these for let's see this big snowflake was $6.99 and I got that for half off so it's wood and it's like a white wood snowflake it's pretty like thick and chunky um, but then it's got like a silver um, distressed look to it these are really cute on the tree and give it just a little bit of a flash um, this is very similar, but it's a Christmas tree shape. Sure, sure, sure. And then um, I got this snowflake, and I didn't realize it until now, but I love it. It doesn't have um, silver on it, but it's more of like a blackish brown. I really like it. Um, this will give the give it a little bit more of a like. It will match with the brown things. That's what I'm trying to say. It will match with the other brown stuff I got. Um, there's only one of these though, so he's gonna be a lonely, lonely little guy up there. That's okay. I'm on the hunt for a three-tiered tray, you guys. Um, I want a galvanized three-tiered tray, the one that everybody has. Apparently, I'm a little late to the game because I cannot find one anywhere, not the exact one that I want. Um, so I'm gonna search online a little bit. My mom told me that there's some on Amazon that might work. So I'm gonna hop on there. So I wanna do like cute little um, Ray Dunn style um, stuff on that three-tiered tray. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. I love Ray Dunn. But I think that if you get too much Ray Dunn, it's redundant. <laughs> I think like, <laughs> like I, if you're having like too many words and again, I'm such a boring person. Anyways, I just wanna add like a couple pieces like this on that three tiered tray, maybe like a couple of picks. Um, I don't know, just, just, I just wanna have some fun with it and put that on my island that I have right here. But that's what I bought this for was for the eventual three-tiered tray that I will find. I got four of these picks. Are these poinsettias, mom? Grandma? Yeah. Poinsettia. These are, yeah. so I got um, this champagne. It's almost like a grayish champagne um, color. They're suede um, poinsettia picks. And then they have like champagne-y gold, um, like sparkly, whatever in the middle. But I got four of these to stick in the tree to kind of have in various areas. I might have to pick up more of these depending on the look that I'm going for, but I started with four of them. Um, and then I got this garland as well. I mean, it looks super crazy and messy right now because it's been in a bag most of the day, but um, super cute. So it's, oh, it literally looks like a hot mess. It looks awful. So it is just, Fine with like faux fur balls on them and then these brown bells. Again with the brown um, and the faux fur. So a lot of this stuff kind of blends together. Um, it's like rustic chic is how I would explain what I'm going for this year. Um, anyway, so that's everything that I got from the home decor home decor places. Now I'm going to hop into what I got from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so first things first, I did grab this. Um, again with like the champagne gold silvery color. Um, I grabbed this to go with my decor today. You can kind of see that I was on a theme binge today. I definitely got unintentionally a lot of the same stuff um, that like went together. Um, but yeah, so I got this and this was $5.50 today. This plug-in was $5.50 today at Bath and Body Works and I'm glad that I grabbed this because it looks so cute in my kitchen. So as far as scents this year, you guys, um, this should last me a while. I have about six plugins or so, five plugins, um, and I already filled them up um, with some leaves and some sweater weather. And then um, this is just what's left. I grabbed 15 of them. That should last me for quite a while. Um, but I got peppermint marshmallow. I just got one of these because the limit was 15 and I did like even numbers of most of the other things. Um, so I got some peppermint marshmallow. We'll see what that smells like. I'm not totally sure because I did not smell this one um, 
before I bought it. Sweater weather, so sweater weather and leaves. So the, this one, leaves and sweater weather. These are my two absolute favorites um, when it comes to fragrancing my home. Um, I get a lot of questions as to what I use for my plugins and that is what I go with just because it has this light spicy scent. It's kind of an in-between. It can be a fall scent, it can be a winter scent, Christmas scent. It's just, they're all, they're, they're great scents. Even though this is called leaves, I, this is probably the most popular. Like when I have this in my home, I get a lot of questions in regards to what I'm using. Um, but sweater weather smells very similar. It's just a little bit spicier. Um, and I would say it's more so on the wintry side, but I do use it in the fall too. Um, the one thing that they didn't have when I was at my Bath and Body Works is they did not have any of the winter scent, which is kind of bizarre. So if I go back to Bath and Body Works, so like their candle day, sale I'll probably grab some winter candles unless they discontinued it which I'd be really disappointed because it's like one of my favorite scents um, but I got two I thought I got yeah I got two of these I put one in my bedroom just now um, white winter woods um, I this is a brand new scent to Bath and Body Works this year so I grabbed this one um, I do want to mention as well that I We'll be going to the candle day sale um, to grab Twisted Pepper, probably like one or two Twisted Peppermint candles, one or two winter candles, and then maybe something either like Tis the Season or um, Sweater Weather. Probably Tis the Season. I don't know. I can't decide. We'll see. But anyways, um, I will be going to the candle day sale. That's, I like to have Twisted Peppermint candles instead of in these plugins because trust me you guys, they do smell a little bit differently. The plugin compared to the candle, they smell differently. They give, give off different fragrances. So that's my tip. Um, I like them better in a candle, so I do not get them in a um, plugin. But, so I've got so far Sweater Weather, White Winter Woods, Peppermint Marshmallow, Leaves. And then the last one that I grabbed is the Tis the Season. Um, this is just a general um, Christmas scent. It's like apple-y, um, cinnamon, spicy, um, like a little bit of like an evergreen scent to it, I personally think. But um, this is just, like I said, an all around really great Christmas scent. So that is what I have for my loot from Bath and Body Works for wallflowers, and then for my for my free item, I did go with the Twisted Peppermint Body Cream because I just think that this is great to keep in your purse. And trust me, yes, I do need a full one in my purse in the winter time because I have the worst dry hands. So, and then I'll smell like a candy cane, and what's better than that? So, that is what I got from Bath and Body Works. All right guys, in true Morgan fashion, looking like a hot mess, but I am going to end the video there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, relaxed shop with me and um, Christmas decor, home fragrance haul, all the essentials to get your house ready for Christmas and guests. Because as you know, it's Christmas, then Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you guys haven't seen that meme on Facebook and Twitter, it's super funny, it's like, um, cleared it all up for you guys in a diagram so you're not confused. And it says like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Christmas, which is definitely how we do it in my house, but all right, you guys, I am going to put this stuff away. I'm going to make some ham and potato soup with my grandma, and then I'm going to snuggle and hang out with my family for the night, watch some Christmas movies, and then I'm going to get up early in the morning and decorate for you guys, for myself, and bring you guys along, and I'll have that video up for you guys in a couple days while well, this hair. All right, guys time to bounce out and to relax. All right, if you like this video, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up, share it on your socials with your friends. I would really love it. It really helps out my channel, especially during this time of year. Please stay tuned. I have Vlogmas planned for you guys, and I am I am pumped. I tried to do Vlogmas last year, but I had just started my channel, and it was a big undertaking, and I only had about 150 subscribers at the time. So it was, it just felt like a lot of work and I didn't really know what I was doing. So this year it's a little bit different of a story and I'm pumped to bring you guys Vlogmas. The first 25 days of Christmas, we'll have a video every single day. So stay tuned for that. Make sure that you're subscribed before you leave so that you don't miss out on that or any of my other fun future videos. And I will see you guys in a couple of days for another really fun video. <sighs> that was a mouthful. Okay, bye guys.